Okay, come on. Here, pub will go. That's it. Come on, everybody. That's it. Zero, one, two, three, dot, 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 n minus one, n. Okay. So the first, you need to say this full answer. Okay. You understand my English? Yes. Tell. The first payment will be at time zero. Next payment. Next payment, just hold on for a minute. Yeah, okay. Two. The last payment, n minus one. Okay, we need to calculate accumulated value at time n minus one or n. N. Excellent. Okay. Now, the first payment is at time zero. So, zero to n is n years. So, for how many years do we need to accumulate the first payment? n years simple if the first payment is at time 0 and there is n years we need to accumulate the payment from here to here 
so how many years n years so we will accumulate the first payment for n years very simple don't confuse that it is zero zero means what beginning of first year okay from beginning of first year to end of 10 years it is 10 years na okay the first payment will be 1 plus i to the power n plus 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 plus last payment 1 plus i because from n minus 1 to n it is 1 year so the last payment will be accumulated for 1 years now we will reverse the full thing and the notation is s du n s du n now we will reverse the full thing it is 1 plus i plus 1 plus i square plus dot 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 plus 1 plus i whole to the power n so from 1 to n from 1 to n how many terms n terms very simple count 1 2 3 4 dot dot n so how many terms n terms it is gp series a r to the power n minus 1 by r minus 1 understood okay so 1 plus i minus 1 is what i and 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 by i by 1 plus i so i by 1 plus i is what d you all need revision i by 1 plus i is what d so this is 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 by d okay so this is the formula for s du n Next, present value continuous case. So, continuous case means what? Rho t. So, what is rho t? Rho t is the rate of payment, it is 1 per annum. Okay, delta t. So it is delta per annum. Okay. Time period again is n years. So basically what is happening is the rate of payment is 1 per annum but the payment is continuous. Okay. There is a stream of payments and we need to calculate present value and accumulated value. So whenever I use the word continuous, we always use bar. Okay. Whenever I use the word continuous, it will be bar. Bar is the signature for continuous payments. Okay. So now, we have studied uh, the payment streams. So, from 0 to n. Okay. Rho t. Basically, rho t is the rate of payment at time t. Then what we do? Exponential. Since we need to calculate the present value at time 0, what we are going to do is we are going to minus 0 to t because the payment which is there at time t we need to discount it to time 0 and there is a single payment or there is a stream of payment stream of payments so basically this integration is acting as the summation of all the present values of the payments clear this integration is basically acting as the summation of the present values of all the payments from time 0 to n. Okay. So exponential minus 0 to t delta ds whole into dt. Now we need to solve this. So rho t is what? Rho t is what? 1. So basically exponential minus delta t dt. So this is what? Integration 0 to n e to the power minus delta t dt copy this down first just hold on a minute so this thing this thing is what this thing is the present value of a single payment at time t and from 0 to n there will be lots of payments 
and this summation is basically this integration symbol is acting as the summation of the present values of all the payments happening between 0 and n this is what we have learned in payment stream okay can you sum a payment which is there at time 1 with a payment which is there at time 2 the answer is no you need to bring it to the same time period plus and minus can only be done if the payments are at same time period or else you have destroyed the concept of time value of money how can you do this blunder you can only sum and minus if the payments are at the same time period so first step is of all the payments happening we are calculating the present values and then we are summing them okay so please solve for this i'll not do everything for you all you need to solve you need to apply your brain I'm giving you all some time. Please solve for this. It's very simple. e to the power mx, e to the power mx by m. And what is m? Minus delta. Very good. So this will be e to the power minus delta by minus delta. 0 to n. This is e to the power minus delta n minus anything to the power 0 is 1 minus delta. We reverse the thing 1 minus e to the power minus delta n by delta. Okay. What is e to the power minus delta? Discounting factor for one year. And e to the power minus delta n is the discounting factor for n years. Notation is A bar N. Clear? Clear? Yeah, done. E to the power minus delta is the discounting factor for one year. And E to the power minus delta N is the discounting factor for N years. Now we need to solve for accumulated value continuous case. Dipesh, can you help me with the uh, equation? Hmm. Integration, very good. We need to calculate accumulated value at time n. Integration 0 to n, rho t is 1, exponential, the payment which is there at time t, we need to take it to time n delta ds whole into dt very good so integration 0 to n e to the power delta n minus t okay dt so again e to the power delta n is a constant we'll take this out integration 0 to n e to the power minus delta t dt and we already know we have just done this now just now done this so e to the power delta n what was the answer 1 minus e to the power minus delta n by delta multiply e to the power delta n what you get is e to the power delta n minus 1 by delta what is e to the power delta accumulation factor for one year and e to the power delta n is what Accumulation factor for n years. Very good. Excellent. So this is S bar n. This is S bar n. Okay. So this can be written as 1 plus i to the power n minus 1 by delta. Please copy down. Carry table books in all the class, okay? 
you all must have got a table book from our end carry the table book done Okay. Now write down practice sums. So calculate A twenty five at the rate thirteen point five percent. So what is a twenty five? One minus v to the power twenty five by i. Yes. So this is one minus. What is v? One point one three five to the power minus twenty five by zero point one three five. Please solve and get the answer. What is the answer? Seven point zero nine four nine six. Next, calculate A D U twenty five, A D U fifteen at the same rate. A D U fifteen. So in A D U, what was there? One minus one point one three five. To the power minus fifteen, whole divided by d, right? So d is what zero point one three five by one point one three five. Please solve for this. B is what one plus i to the power minus one. This is question number twenty eight from the assignment. Please watch my using the calculator video. I will send in group today also. Eight point zero five. Seven point one four nine two. Seven point one four nine two. Hmm. Okay. Next question number twenty nine from the assignment. Assignment. 
एस टेन थ्री पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट तो दिस विल बी वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव टू दी पावर टेन माइनस वन बाय पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव यस और नो ओके सॉल्व फॉर एस डी यू थर्टीन ऑल्सो And after this, you need to calculate these two also.
वॉट इज एस टेन वैल्यू थर्टीन पॉइंट वन फोर वन नाइन एस टेन का इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री वन एस ड्यू थर्टीन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन सिक्स नाइन ए बार टेन सेवन पॉइंट एट सिक्स नाइन एस बार ट्वेंटी फोर्टी नाइन पॉइंट फोर वन टू नाइन तो हाउ टू कैलकुलेट ए बार टेन नाउ दिस विल बी डेल्टा इज गिवेन एस फाइव परसेंट दिस विल बी वन माइनस ई टू दी पर माइनस पॉइंट जीरो फाइव इन टू टेन बाय पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एस बार ट्वेंटी डेल्टा इज गिवेन टू बी एट परसेंट तो दिस विल बी ई टू दी पावर पॉइंट जीरो एट इंटू ट्वेंटी माइनस वन बाय पॉइंट जीरो एट क्लियर प्लीज सॉल्व write down and it is paid pthly what do you mean by pthly pthly means when the payment frequency is months quarters half years then how to tackle the question okay now what we'll do is uh basically let's say suppose the payment is in quarters okay and the annual rate of payment annual rate of payment is 1 per annum so there will be four payments in a year so what will be the each payment amount each payment amount will be 1 by 4 If the annual payment amount is one, and we need to pay it in four parts, then each payment amount will be each payment will be one by four. Let's suppose quarters are years, okay, and the time period is let's say suppose n years. Rate of interest is i percent per annum. These are the details of the question that we need to solve, okay. so we need to calculate present value at time 0 we need to calculate present value at time 0 so the first payment will be after one quarter and the payment amount is 1 by 4 and the discount factor will be for 1 by 4 years 3 months means what 1 by 4 years so it will be v to the power 1 by 4 What is v to the power one by four discount factor for one quarter? Okay, discount factor for one quarter. If the rate of interest is annual, then the discount factor for one quarter is v to the power one by four plus one by four v to the power two by four. What is two by four? Discount factor for two quarters plus one by four v to the power three by four. Three quarters plus one by four v. V means what? Discount factor for one year, the payment which is being made after one year. So this are this is for the first year, and the payment will continue for n years. So again, one by four all plus one by four v to the power one plus one by four. So what is one one plus one by four? One year and one quarter. So like this dot 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 plus one by four v square. Again. Dot 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 dot. So the last payment will be one by four v to the power n. Yes or no? Please copy this down first. These are the credentials. These copied.
ओके तो कैन आई आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन वॉट सीरीज इज दिस जीपी सीरीज वॉट इज द फर्स्ट टर्म वन बाय फोर बी टू दी पार वन बाय फोर वॉट इज द कॉमन रेशियो बी टू दी पार वन बाय फोर हाउ मेनी टर्म्स फोर एन फोर एन बाय एन इयर्स एंड ईच ईयर फोर पेमेंट्स तो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स इन दिस इक्वेशन इज फोर एन ओके वी कैन सॉल्व दिस लेट स्टार्ट तो प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एट टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज वॉट ए डोंट राइट डोंट राइट ए ए वन माइनस आर टू दी पावर एन बाय वन माइनस आर डोंट राइट ओके नाउ कॉपी दिस डोंट फर्स्ट okay so now next step what we are doing is 1 minus 1 minus v to the power n inside bracket term will be this only and this we are taking to denominator's denominator so what we can write is 4 1 minus v to the power 1 by 4 by v to the power 1 by 4 ओके एंड देन वी कैन राइट दिस एज वन माइनस वी टू दावर एन बाय फोर वन बाय डिस्काउंट फैक्टर फॉर वन क्वार्टर इज वॉट अक्यूमुलेशन फैक्टर फॉर वन क्वार्टर विच इज वन प्लस आई टू दी पावर वन बाय फोर माइनस वन यू नो दिस इज दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर आई फोर वेन आई इज गिवेन आई सॉल्व दिस फॉर यू तो वन प्लस आई is equal to 1 plus i4 by 4 whole to the power 4 so what we do is 1 plus i to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 whole into 4 so this full thing can be replaced by i4 okay copy tomorrow class same time few classes we'll do at this time few classes at 4 daily class so the final equation turns out to be 1 minus v to the power n by i 4 and the notation is a n 4 so this 4 signifies in one year there are Four payments, so that is why annuity is paid pithly. So the frequency of payment is four times, and this thing and this thing go side by side. So let's say suppose if the equation is like this, a n p. So this will be one minus v to the power n by i p. So this is the general equation.
ओके इफ दे आस्क यू ए ड्यू एन पी तो दिस इज वन माइनस वी टू दी पावर एन बाय डी पी कॉपी दिस ऑल्सो one problem we are going to solve copied question number 30 from assignment so it is a6 4 at the rate 1.5% so 1 minus 1.015 to the power minus 6 by what by what by i4 and and we'll calculate i4 when i is when i is what 1.5% okay so 1.015 is equal to 1 plus i4 by 4 whole to the power 4 so it is 1.015 to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 whole into 4 ओके What's the answer? Five point nine five two six. Five point seven. Five point seven two nine. What is the answer, Komal Jain? Mehak Arora. What is the answer, Siddhant? Yati, what is the answer? Five point one. Five point seven. Five point seven three. Komal Jain, what is the answer? Sir, I am getting a wrong answer. Why? You just need to solve for I four when I is one point five percent. One minus v to the power n by i p, where p is the number of times payment is being done. Yes, Mike will try to have classes after three also. Don't worry. Five point seven two. Question number forty.
वन थिंग प्लीज रिमेंबर लाइक दिस थिंग द पेमेंट अमाउंट द पेमेंट टर्म एंड द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट दीज थ्री थिंग्स विल बी ऑफ द सेम टाइम पीरियड ओके इन द लास्ट फॉर्म्यूला दैट वी सॉल्व तो हेयर इट इज वन वन वॉज द एनुअल रेट ऑफ पेमेंट एन इज द नंबर ऑफ इयर्स एंड हेयर इट इज आई परसेंट तो ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स आर एनुअल इट कैन बी मंथली क्वार्टरली इट कैन बी एनीथिंग बट प्लीज हैव कंसिस्टेंसी लाइक द पेमेंट अमाउंट द पेमेंट टर्म एंड द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट ऑल दीज थ्री थिंग्स विल बी ऑफ द सेम टाइम पीरियड ओके लुक एट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी So it is a three four at the rate nine percent. What's your name, Supriya? Na help help with this equation. So this will be minus three. Whole divided by I four at the rate nine percent. So I four at the rate nine percent is what four into one point zero nine to the power one by four minus one. Correct. Please solve. So this is A three four. Next is A D U four four. Yes, Kashish. Tell what is A D U four four. Yes. How to write the equation? One minus one point zero nine D four. So we will calculate D four when I is nine percent. Okay. So in note, we are going to start. So it is one point zero nine is equal to one by one minus d four by four whole to the power four. Please solve. This is one point zero nine to the power minus one by four. One minus this. Whole into four, if I'm not wrong. And the third is S bar ten. What is the first answer? What is the first answer? Two point six one five. One. Third, I mean second. Hmm. Three point. Three point four one nine nine nine. Oh, sorry. The final answer is three point three point four one nine nine. Third is S bar ten. So this is again I is given, not delta. So 1.09 to the power 10 minus 1 by ln 1.09. Because in denominator we need to have delta, na? So ln 1 plus I is delta.
वट इज द लास्ट एंसर फिफ्टीन पॉइंट तो फिफ्टीन पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज थ्री पॉइंट फोर वन नाइन नाइन एंड फर्स्ट वन इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स वन फाइव वन टू पार्ट टू ऑल्सो वेन आई इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ए ड्यू टेन ट्वेल्व तो दिस विल बी वन माइनस वन पॉइंट टू फाइव टू दी पावर माइनस टेन बाय डी ट्वेल्व तो वन माइनस डी ट्वेल्व बाय ट्वेल्व होल टू दी पावर ट्वेल्व इज वन बाय वन पॉइंट टू फाइव ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज ए सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेल्व so this will be 1 minus 1.25 to the power minus 6.5 by i12 so i12 1.25 is 1 plus i12 by 12 whole to the power 12 please solve the two equations and get the answer I guess in answer uh, there is little bit error. So answer number forty one is matching with answer number forty. Just check. What are the answers? Four point zero three seven five. Four point zero three seven five and three point three nine eight nine. Okay. Four point zero three seven five and three point three nine eight nine. So today we will do only till here. Tomorrow also we are going to do level annuities, advanced problems, and we might move on to increasing, decreasing, compound, increasing, deferred annuities. Okay. tomorrow there is a class at 11 am thank you all of you